Time now for 32 Thoughts presented by GMC. 32 Thoughts, Elliot Friedman flying solo. Jeff Merrick actually down in Chicago for his son TJ's hockey tournament, a team out of Stouffville. Congrats to them. They're into the semifinals versus Anaheim tomorrow. No Jeff, no Kevin. Got rid of the riffraff. <laughs> 16 thoughts coming your way with Elliot <laughs> Friedman. Uh, start with an injury update in Edmonton. Well, Darnell Nurse got hurt last night as the Oilers clinched the playoff berth. And just what we understand here is he's not going on the road trip. They're going on a two-game two game trip to Columbus and Pittsburgh. They've got four games left in the rest of the season. I think it's just R&R. &R. It doesn't sound like they're so concerned at all that, you know, he'll be ready for the playoffs if not sooner. Also, Austin Matthews, he returned from injury this week. The Maple Leafs obviously very tight-lipped. You don't get a lot of information around this time of the playoffs. It's not believed to be related to the wrist that was injured earlier this year. It doesn't seem that Toronto is that concerned about this either. Something nagging that they just wanted to be careful with. And Calgary's dressing Dustin Wolf as the backup tonight. Markstrom's just going to get a breather. All right, speaking of goaltending situations, what's going on with Vegas? So this is what we can tell you, that, um, you know, Robin Leonard... There was a rep or two reports yesterday that he's out for the rest of the year and having surgery, and and I'd heard the same rumors. And you know, v Vegas has disputed that. And today, when he didn't practice, they said that they were hopeful he would play tomorrow night or be in the lineup tomorrow night. Nobody's talking, but this is the best I can piece together. I, I think what's happened is Leonard, who's playing hurt, was upset at some of the criticism he was receiving and also being pulled the other night. And I believe he informed the Golden Knights on Thursday night that he was going to have surgery and shut it down. And I think in the last 24 to 48 hours, there have been conversations between Leonard, the team, his agents, and just everybody involved trying to see if there was a solution to all this that would have him in the lineup. I guess we're going to find out tomorrow night, and we'll see for sure where all this is going, but that's the best information I can piece together for you today. I'd really like to see Leonard back with the team, obviously. You know, the, the thing I would like to say, first of all, is he's been through a lot, and mm -hmm. just hope he's okay. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the, the Winnipeg Jets, a disappointing season, to say the least, some off-season information, maybe. Well, you know, Winnipeg got eliminated from the playoffs, and a lot of us had huge expectations for them, including them themselves. There's been a lot of rumors about, you know, what they may do and some of the changes they might make or may not make on or off the ice. I think one scenario that a lot of people will be watching is Pierre-Luc Dubois. He's up for a new contract. He's got two years towards unrestricted free agency. So he's in a situation where he's got some real power over his future. And if the Jets can't sign him long term or they don't feel they can sign him long term, I think this is going to be a situation to watch. And so there'll obviously be conversations about what he wants to do and, you know, how long he wants to sign for and what the Jets want to do. But I think this is going to be one to watch in particular because if he's not willing to sign long term, I, I think you're going to hear some conversations about his name being out there. There's going to be a lot of conversations surrounding the Winnipeg Jets after uh, this season. All right, thanks, L.A. That's 32 thoughts. Uh, all night we're honoring, uh, of course, the legend Guy Lafleur and his memory. Uh, so many good memories. Maybe his most memorable goal, his most memorable moment, of course. Uh, third period, Game 7, semifinal versus the Bruins, sending the Habs to overtime into yet another Stanley Cup championship. Lafleur coming out rather gingerly on the right side. He gives it into the mayor, back to the floor. Oh! What could be more appropriate if anybody, Gila Fleur, sends his place into a frenzy again?